for raffles, um, guests will might come up to you and ask to place a, a purchase a raffle ticket uh, or chance for um, either the 5050 best of live or apple of my eye raffle um, or wagon of cheer. So the three raffles, um, three other raffles and then the wagon cheer will be separate. And so um, to do that, you're going to search, you're going to use the section of the butler um, and you're going to look up the bidder number or search by first or last name. So if um, Kelly Newton comes up to uh, purchase a ticket for um, Apple of My Eye raffle, you're going to look for her bidder account and then you're going to type in the uh, raffle item number or name. So um, Apple of my eye raffle. And then you're either going to select one for $20 or three for $50. Um, so she wants to do one for $20. You're going to add bid and then place bid. Um, if they want to do more than one, they can definitely do that. If uh, once you've done that one and you want to do 50-50, um, you can do that as well. Same thing, one for 20, three for 50, um, and then place the bid. Um, and so for 50-50, Apple of Mine Eye Raffle and Best of Live, um, they're all chances so they can go um, purchase either online or um, or with a volunteer. So the only uh, one that will need a slipped filled out would be best of live and that's only because we need to know um, which uh, which best of live um, live auction item that they would want if they won this raffle. Um, so each volunteer will have um, a little baggie with slips and pens for the guests to fill out. Um, and then once they filled it out, you're going to take that and collect it um, and give it to a staff member before we draw the winner. Um, and so if a guest comes up to you and wants to purchase a raffle, um, but they want to pay in cash, they can totally do that. We do want to make sure that we um, keep track of who pays for uh, which raffle, um, just so that the number all matches up at the end of the night. So if Kelly Nguyen wants to pay for um, uh, Apple of My Eye in cash just for one, you're going to add bid, place bid. And so it says bid saved for bidder um, 175 on item 103. And so now what we're going to do is look uh, under bidder lookup, we're going to look for her account, look up, and then now this looks a little different. So once we find her account, we're going to click on the checkout button. And on this checkout screen will be a list of everything that they have purchased or bid on or won. So when they want to pay in cash, we want to make sure that it is so important to click on only the raffle item that they want to pay in cash for and uncheck the rest of the items. So say they have a list of five different items, you're going to uncheck everything but Apple of My Eye raffle. And so she wants to pay in cash just for this item. Um, once you have checked off just that one and unchecked all the others, you're going to go down to choose a payment type, click on cash, and then you're going to click submit um, once and then you're going to put the cash in the money pouch in the correct envelope that is labeled for Apple of my eye raffle. Um, you will also have a money pouch um, in case you need to make change for anything. Um, and so once you hit submit, it will process the payment. Um, you're going to press continue once. Um, I'm not going to do that right now because I'm not actually going to buy it right now. So um, just to show you how it's done. So um, that is how you do a raffle.